this is how you start the DT, um, the D, um, D, M, MT data machine. Um, press the button there to turn it on, and you'll hear it make that noise. Takes a few minutes for it to fire up, but so we'll just go through the whole process so it'll make it easier for you. It just takes a time for the screen to light up. Usually I start both machines at the same time. I'll, I'll play a separate video for the uh, CapGuys machine, but usually you start both at the same time, so they're loading up simultaneously. But for the sake of this, I want to keep this nice and simple and easy for you to be able to, to do. So just wait for this to load. Okay, so once it gets to this screen, you're supposed to read the instructions and then press down. Come over here and press accept or OK. It goes through the next lot of instructions that you're supposed to read. So click that, hit OK. Now you've got to put in your code, your driver ID. Now your driver ID is on your is on your accredited driver card, is that number up the top. Not the full one that's on your on your license card or the other cab machine card, just that number there. So let's do this. Whoops. Ah, did it again. Whoops. So I've got the number in there. Click OK. Now the pin number is the one that comes with your accredited card so the driver card I'm talking about is this card so when you got this card you would have got a pin number with it so typically it is the same pin number that you put up there so let me put this in click OK if it's right correct it'll be there so now it's sitting at not plotted so that means that the machine is alive and you can see down the bottom left hand corner R5032, that's your uh, taxi number that you're in and the time before it and you're logged on, but you're actually not available for work when you've got not plotted. So to change that, you need to click plot. It'll uh, look for the area, so go auto. And then you've got a, a list of the, of the uh, choices where you are. Now I know that I'm in West Bansdale, so I choose that. You'll hear it beep and go green. And it says down here, area plot set, West Bansdale, area two, position one. So now I go to main. And the main the main one is the is a button that shows you all of your choices. So there you can see I'm in position one and I'm car one. So I'm available for the for the first job that comes up in this area. A little clue for you is to go and, and once you recognize that and make sure you're logged on and you're available for work, click cover. And then cover jobs, what that means is if, if we're all busy or there's a job out of the normal area, it'll come into this screen here. So what that means is that you've got the opportunity for, if you're sitting in what we call covers, it means that you're, uh, you can take that job that's in there and override anyone else or beat anyone else to the, to the job. Or you can see if you're busy, and particularly on weekends and, and night time, where it's really, really busy, there would be a bank of jobs here. So you might be driving to, taking a passenger to West Bansdale, and you can see a job that's in West Bansdale. You can click on that job and, not, and take that job. So when you're empty, you, that'll be the next job that'll come in. So you're not traveling empty, you're maximizing your time online. So hope, hopefully that helps.